All right, uh, let's try a video solution to our fluid uh, dynamics, and this is the uh, flow rate. Uh, let's try number 10. It says the flow rate of blood through a capillary of radius 2.00 times 10 to the minus sixth meters is, and so Q, the flow rate, 3.80 times 10 to the minus 9 cubic centimeters per second. All right, so there's our radius and our, our flow rate. So A, what is the speed of the blood flow? So we said if you took the cross-sectional area times the velocity, you would get your Q. And so here's maybe a little tube. You know, what we talked about here is that if you had a cross-sectional area A and a length delta X, the volume would be A delta X, and that's the volume. If you go volume per time, you're going to get a flow rate, and that would be area times velocity. So there is the simple equation about the uh, flow rate, and we are asked for the speed. So the speed would be the flow rate over the cross-sectional area. So coming back over here, the flow rate is 3.80 times 10 to the minus 9 cubic centimeters a second. And the area, assuming it's a round tube, and so I think it is a capillary, would be pi r squared. And in this case, r is 2.0 times 10 to the minus 9 meters squared. And so we need to be a little careful with our unit since we've got meters down here and centimeters up here. And so I'm going to You know, I bet this is a typo. Let me look at... another part. Um, let me just check, because I would gather... Hmm. I'm going to go with my hunch. This is a typo here for a second. 3.80 times 10 to the minus 9 meters cubed per second. Because that's really small. And we've seen this kind of typo before. So... Taking it that I don't have to worry about unit conversion because I would have cubic meter over square meter, which gives me meters per second. Let me just try this number here for the speed. See if this is even reasonable. So 3.8 times 10 to the negative 9 divided then by a pi and divide that by 2 times 10 to the negative 6 squared. Hmm, that would be pretty fast. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, let's give this a shot then. Okay, so I'm going to try it again. So let's go 3.80 and times 10 to the minus 9. And then let me do a unit conversion. Let me take it actually as centimeter. I'm going to put it up here. Remember, centimeter cubed means we have centimeter cubed and meter cubed. 
And Senta is 10 to the minus 2. So minus 2 raised to a power of 3 is 10 to the minus 6. So I'm going to take this as times 10 to the minus 6 meters cubed per second. And now divide it by pi times 2.00 times 10 to the minus 6th meters squared. All right. So uh, forgive me for thinking there was a unit conversion. I, it just seems so small. But then that speed was just way too fast. That was the speed of sound. Okay. So let me do these units and say, okay, I take that back. It doesn't seem like there would be a unit conversion problem. Uh, and so 3.8 times 10 to the negative 9 times 1 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by pi divided by 2 times 10 to the negative 6 squared. And I get a speed of, and this seems... Kind of slow, but quite possible. Not like the other one. All right, so this would be a speed of 3 times 10 to the minus 10. And let me just divide that into 10 to the minus 2 times 10 to the minus 2. Because I'll take this one of the 10 to the minus 2 and call it a centa. So it'll be 3.02 times 10 to the minus 2 centimeters per second. Or 0 0.0302 centimeters per second. Okay. And I kind of like that. In fact, let's flip over here. Let me find your author's solution. Ah, yep. And he has this right here. 3.02 times 10 to the minus 2 centimeters per second. Okay. All right. So, again, forgive my uh, thought that maybe that was uh, another typo, but it's not. All right. So, then B goes on here and says, assume that all the blood in the body is to pass through these capillaries how many of them must be in order to carry a total flow of about 90 cubic centimeters per second? It says a large number obtained as an overestimate, but still reasonable, they say. Okay, well, I, I'm not sure what the uh, reasonable number is, but that's what they say. Okay, so... Uh, with that in mind, the total flow, Q total, divided by the flow per capillary would be how many capillaries, right? That's your fourth grade math when you're asking how many of these little things fit into the, the big thing. You know, how many are there? So the big flow or the total through the body is they're trying to say 90.0 uh, cubic centimeters per second. So that's the total flow through the body. And I guess that's a, a reasonable number. Uh, now the flow per capillary is, where'd we get here, 3.8 times 10 to the minus 9 cubic centimeters per second. And so this quotient would tell, me, tell us how many capillaries there are. And maybe I'll just cancel off the units. No units, because we're just going to get a number. So in the top, we have 90. In the bottom, we have 3.8 times 10 to the negative 9. And it looks like 2 point, I'll call it 4, times 10 to the 10th capillaries. Wow. Okay, 2, 4, times 10 to the 9. That's a billion. So 24 billion capillaries. 
And what did it say here? How many? The large number obtained is an overestimation, but still reasonable. Okay, so they say so. 24 billion capillaries in my body. Even if it's kind of an overestimate, we're probably still looking at uh, 2.4 billion. Wow. Okay, well, there's the flow rate. Hopefully that one helps.